Welcome back, everybody, to another Daikon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today, we are going to be reacting to Blue by Joni Mitchell, which is a track. And I do want to, I kind of want to react to the whole album. Um, but for now, we're going to just check out the title track. Uh, this song is called Blue. I'm very excited to hear this. We've, I think we've done two Joni Mitchell songs in the past. I love her voice. I love her lyricism. She's awesome. And um, yeah, so thank you to the people who have requested her. If you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Daniel, and here we react to music, and I try to figure out what the uh, music and the lyrics mean to me personally. If that is interesting to you, consider uh, subscribing to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into it. Joni Mitchell, Blue. So sorry to pause it. I don't even know what to say. Let's just keep going. Sorry. Ooh, these waves. Acid, booze, and ass. Needles, guns, and grass. Lots of laughs. Lots of laughs. way to go well i don't think so but i'm gonna take a look around at the blue Don't stop. Holy, I need to listen to it again, like immediately. I don't understand even what just happened, to be honest. Like, from the first three seconds, I hope, like. that whatever that like her the melody right there holy cow her voice is so i can't even talk holy i 
yeah. I really don't know why it's affecting me as strongly as it is. This is insane. Uh, wow. Yeah, obviously I do need to listen to the freaking album. All right. Let's take a look at the lyrics. The title track on Joni Mitchell's masterpiece 1971 album, Blue. The song touches on depression, general sadness, and the ways people use to escape from them, told over a beautiful piano melody. There was such a feeling of longing and wistfulness and sadness in there that, like, I, like, I don't know what it was. Like, I don't really want to say I related to it so hardly, but that's, good. like, so, like, that's, that's... Even just from, like, the melody and the way the piano sounds, it made me feel a very specific way. Holy cow. Well, Case of You is on this album. So, oh, okay. Wow. That song's beautiful as well. Cool. Blue, songs are like tattoos. You know I've been to sea before. Crown and anchor me, or let me sail away. Hey, Blue, there is a song for you. Ink on a pin, underneath the skin, an empty space to fill in. Well, there's so many sinking now. You gotta keep thinking. You can make it through these waves. Acid, booze, and ass, needles, guns, and grass. Lots of laughs, lots of laughs. Everybody's saying that hell's the hippest way to go. Well, I don't think so. But I'm going to take a look around it, though. Blue, I love you. Blue, there is a shell for you. Inside, you'll hear a sigh. A foggy lullaby in there is your song for me. These lyrics are a master class in lyric writing. Holy freaking... I don't even, like, have words. Ah... This song is affecting me so much. I need to listen to it again. Let me go through this quick. Joni is directing the lyrics to her own sadness, just as she made the whole blue record as a tribute to her own depression. Sailors would make tattoos to mark their journeys. A Martin represents 5,000 miles, an anchor, the cross of the Atlantic, etc. For Joni's songs, for Joni's songs are traces of our personal journeys and what experiences made us. She knows how life works. She's aware sadness will take over her life eventually, but she's pleading, depression, let me be free for a while. You know I've been to sea before, crown and anchor me, or let me sail away. Depression takes a hold on her and marks her life just as much as a tattoo, just as much as the song which is dedicated to the blues she is feeling at the time. There's so many sinking. People from her generation were getting lost. If at first the hippie dream of love seemed just about right, now she, in reality she realizes that many of these promises were false and people just want to get high. And in getting high, they are getting lost. And she is making an effort to believe there is a way out, although she doesn't seem convinced that there is. There was just They were just having cheap fun with LSD, alcohol, sex, marijuana, and she seems desperate that all she can get from life is a bunch of laughter after getting stoned. And she believes there's got to be more to life than this, which will be more explicit after the next verse. Everyone's saying hell's the hippest way to go. Her generation was against the values of the Catholic Church, and everything they enjoyed doing was considered wrong, and thus they were all condemned to hell, which they didn't mind at all. They didn't even believe in it. Well, yeah. She's not happy with the acid, booze, ass, needles, guns, and grass, and all the laughs. She thinks that is not the way. But right now... There's not much going on, so she might as well just get around some more until she finds something else. At least she's laughing. I'm going to take a look around. Sadness is all she has right now. And this depression, blue, I love you. That is so powerful. Holy. Ah, ah, that is so powerful. This depression is what is her is most true to her at this point, And it allows her to walk to waste her time in activities she knows won't help but will alleviate the sorrow. I love you. In love with your own sadness. She is the shell, closed and forgotten, and all she can do is sigh. Inside this, inside you'll hear a sigh, a foggy lullaby, forgotten memories. There, there is your song for me. From me, right? From me or for me? From me. I'm going to listen to it again. Thank you so much for joining me. This video is a little shorter than I, I guess they, they normally are, but I don't even know what to say. This song is a masterpiece. Absolutely breathtakingly stunning. 
thank you to the people who requested it. Thank you for, for joining me. Um, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I think we're probably going to have to do this the, the album. I'm going to start from the first track and just go from there. Uh, I might do it song by song as opposed to just doing like, I think. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. Um, yeah, Deathstroke 9, out.